any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed son. Stay blessed. It occurred to me that one of the ways that God shows men help is to grant them access to the house of God. Did you know that the house of God is one of the spiritual strategies designed by God to give or allow men to experience the help of God? Psalm 20, please, I believe that should be Psalm 20. Give us verse 2. Psalm 20, verse 2. It says, in fact, let's start from verse 1, 1 and 2. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Let's read verse 2. Send thee help from and strengthen you out of where? Send thee help from the sanctuary. He's the one who sends it. But the sanctuary is where you receive it. The house of God is one of the platforms that God creates to help. Hallelujah. That means whatever rob you, robs you from finding expression or coming to the house of God must be demonic. Any spirit that stops you from coming to the house of God is stopping you from accessing help. Are we together? Very, very important. The house of God is where God's people receive help. How do they receive help? Primarily through the teaching of the word. Primarily. Because the house of God grants you access to the manifested presence of God. And then to the word of God. The word of God that is accurately taught. Hallelujah. I wrote something down here that I want you to listen to. One of the clearest proof of compassion is the passion to eliminate ignorance from people let me repeat myself one of the clearest proof of compassion is the passion to eliminate ignorance from people when you are passionate about eliminating ignorance from people then you truly have compassion are we together in mark chapter 6 and verse 34 Mark chapter 6, please give it to us, verse 34. The Bible says, and Jesus, when he came out, he saw much people and was moved with compassion towards them. Is that true? Because they were as sheep not having a shepherd. What was his response? And he began to teach them many things. That was his response to their state. That means every time you truly have compassion towards people your compassion should fuel among other things not just the desire to give but the desire to empower through knowledge the passion to eliminate ignorance from people by granting them access to strategic knowledge life applicable scripture based revelation is truly proof of compassion hallelujah it's a lot of ignorance. Many people are ignorant. Ignorant about the ways of God. Ignorant about the modus operandi of the kingdom.